Good morning, World Wide Web. Welcome back to my stock channel. This is James, your favorite ticker picker, Spirit Airlines, JetBlue merger. What the hell is going on? Well, our last video, this thing was down at $10, and then we went down to like $5. Uh, woo, we came all the way down. Hello. Well, that's, uh, shit, that's just the last five days. Let's go to the one month chart. Okay. Um, no, this is, yeah, this is where it hit $10. This was our last video. It was at $16 right before this, and it went wee all the way down to $10. Right when the court date was starting. You want to know why? I finally figured out why. Um, everybody was expecting them to make a settlement with the government where they could, like, maybe merge or something, or do, like, a half merge, or give up a bunch of their, uh, uh locations, you know in some kind of a backroom deal. Apparently, four of the last five uh, Justice Department interrupted airline mergers have ended in a, uh, what do they call it, an agreement uh, without the trial. Um, the words escaped me. I'm sure you're thinking of it. Go ahead. God, he's stupid. But, uh, yeah, a, a pretrial agreement to uh, avoid the trial or to make a deal with the prosecutor, basically bend over to his extortion racket, Pay a few million dollars, whatever the case. That didn't happen, and Spirit decided to take a shift from 16 down to like 9, okay? And then the trial started. And here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Hello, hello, hello. 12, 13, 14, all the way up. Okay, are you with me? All the way up to $16. $16. And then look at this. Whee! This is right when the trial ended. Whee! All the way down to, what, 13 bucks? Under 13 bucks, I think, just for a second. And then coming on back up to 14.68. There's our nice 16 mark up there. We're going to expect that shortly. I don't know what's taking this thing so long. The reason for this collapse, <laughs> again, four out of five of the last airline interrupted mergers by the government uh, ended in a settlement. They expected it not to conclude final arguments. They thought they were going to go, uh, can we have a recess, please? And then say, okay, we've reached a settlement. Let's all get out of here. That's what uh, the world thought was going to happen and did not happen. Um, how crazy are these people? I don't care that four out of the last five ended that way. That didn't mean that this one was going to end that way. Um we know the government's a bunch of weasels, and they probably offered uh, all kinds of settlements. And the Spirit JetBlue people really liked where they were at. Uh, right now, the uh, statistical odds of, uh, I guess, the analysts are 65% yes and 35% uh, no on a takeover or merger. So the, the majority is now in our favor. If you have the options, you're staring at 8 to 1, 10 to 1, hopefully. You're staring at something juicy. Your odds got really good. Um, they didn't make some dumb deal with the government that screwed this all up. It's at 1467. Down a hair today. It'll be back to 15, then 16. I expect the ruling from him in a couple of weeks. He promised back in March, this is conservative Judge Young, he promised to have a ruling by the end of the year. Uh, but now they're saying uh, December 16th for some reason. I don't know if that's accurate or not. My guess is he does it before Christmas. Um, he's as upset about this as JetBlue and Spirit are. He doesn't understand the government's case. He told the government this to their face uh, as he was leaving. And he also said, uh, you know, don't let this think it's going to reflect on my ruling, but I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He basically said that, except for in judge words. Um yeah, he doesn't think they have any case at all, and he thinks that they needed to make some kind of another argument. Uh, the prosecution responded um, that uh, they don't have another argument, that they've already made their arguments, and those are their best arguments. And apparently, the judge didn't hear them or didn't get them or didn't like them or they were stupid. Uh, we discussed it in the previous videos how stupid they are. Uh, this is going to be a big go-go gadget guess on my radar, Spirit and JetBlue merging. Uh, the judge is on Team Conservative. Uh, they're not into busting up number five and number seven or shaking down companies. 
Uh, let's face it, there, if you own a stock, what are the odds that you're not being sued by the Justice Department right now? Question mark. No, seriously. Uh, if you're Google, if you're Amazon, if you're Microsoft, if you're um, any oil company, uh, any oil transportation company, any bank that owns loans money to um, oil companies, which is all of them, um, and anyone that doesn't support their party, uh, they seem like they're all, all about investigating and, 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 and suing and dragging you into court just over nonsense, like just to waste your money. This is your shareholder's money. This is your shareholder's earnings money. Uh, you as the stockholder, this is your money. This is your money they're trying to gank. Your Spirit Airlines, you know, you wanted to get your $31. Now you're looking at maybe 6 bucks or 8 bucks if this thing falters, if this deal doesn't go through. I hope you get your 31 I think you will. Justice is going to prevail. This is the highest court in the land. Um, but yeah, who's, who, leave in the comments below. Who's sick of the Justice Department just screwing with American companies like this? Um when their friends take over a company, when Verizon takes over somebody, you know, takes out number 10 uh, Family Mobile, they don't say a word. They're cool with it. If Delta would have bought Spirit Airlines, they would have been perfectly cool with it. Why? Because Delta gives a ton of money to their political party, and it's hands off Delta. That's why they give money. That's why they donate money every day. This is the world's biggest extortion racket, protection racket that you've ever seen in the world. Apparently JetBlue doesn't donate enough because if they did, they wouldn't be having these hassles. Or maybe Spirit donates and they don't want Spirit to become JetBlue because then it'll be JetBlue not donating and they'll lose the Spirit. It could be that way too. But yeah, it's really dirty and uh, it's sad. And if challenged to think of another, you know, gajillion companies that are being sued right now by the Justice Department, uh, game on. We're going to do a special video just on that. We're going to bring the master list out. It's a big one. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a wonderful day. Please like the video and subscribe. This one's going to be a yes on the merger before Christmas. Hope you played your cards right. And if you didn't, uh, it's not too late. The options are still pricing out at like 8 to 1, 7 to 1. You should be able to do really well. Uh, for every dollar you bet, you win, you're going to win eight, and if you lose, you just lose the dollar. And do you think it's a 50-50 bet? I don't know. Go see it for yourself. Have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next video. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.